Adam, looking ahead to Welling at the weekend. What are your thoughts on the game? Yeah, obviously, I think um, you know, both teams will be looking to, to get their first three points of the season. Um, you know, when you enter a new season, you want that to come around as soon as possible. So that'd be a key thing that both teams will be looking to do. But yeah, we're going away from home. Um, it's going to be a real, real tough, tough game. Um, grass pitch um, in this hot, hot weather and hot conditions. You don't know what that's going to play like. But yeah, we'll go there um, with a lot of confidence, hoping to put couple of things right um, from Saturday and, and trying to improve on our, our own, uh, own performance. Yeah, and looking back on Saturday, was there anything reflecting on that game that you've, you've learnt from that that you want to take into this Saturday? Um, no, yeah, I think like we had good good spells, good good lots of uh, possession in the game. Um, so, yeah, be, the main thing for me really is turning that possession into more chances, more shots at goal, more ch uh, ch uh, chances created throughout the game. Um, and, yeah, to still sustain that amount of possession that we had, but... To, to add the end product to it, which is which is vitally important. Absolutely, um, it was obviously a bit more of a physical game as well. Quite different at this level of football compared to what was at the Ishmael League. Is that anything you're expecting from the Welling game? That sort of physicality again, or do you think that was more of a Dover thing? Yeah, I think we're going to find that now throughout the throughout the league. Really, um, it's a physical league. There's some big teams, um, and we've we've got to be able to adapt to that. Um, you know. It's, there was a couple of big tackles early on in the game let us know that we, we was about and we've got to expect that um, throughout the season I think now um, but yeah we're just solely focused on what we can do what we can improve us what we've done over the last few years and we don't want to change on that um, focus on on one game at a time and try and improve on, on each game and that's how we've always worked and that's what we can continue, continue to do Absolutely. Um, it was obviously a strong performance as well at Dover, like you say, a lot of possession, good chances in the game. Couldn't have really been a better start five minutes in, that goal from Jake Robinson. What was going through your mind when that went in? No, yeah, yeah, obviously hoped to get off to a good start and um, we've done exactly that. Obviously Jake um, you know, brought in to score goals and for him to get one so early was was really good for, for everybody. Um, great bit of movement as well from Lewis, so he had a hand in it. and. You know, I think Ollie and Jake can link up really well this season. So for them two to combine for the first goal so early on in the game, there's lots of lots of positives um, to take from it. Um, but yeah, we wasn't able to capitalise um, on that. I think we had, like I say, some good chances before they equalised, um, which would probably sting out the game a little bit and um, give us even more confidence and belief. And Dover probably second half would have had to come out at us. Um, thought they sat in quite well in their shape second half, made it difficult. Um, yeah, the, the the big big chances, uh, a big moments in the game. You, you tuck away the penalty, obviously the game changes. You know, not having a pop at anyone for that, but that's just just football in general. And if you take your chances, um, the game's going to change completely. Um, they're about to come out at us and. Um, might have left a few more spaces for us to, to capitalise on, but it wasn't to be. But it was a great game for us to learn, learn from, and take a lot from. Um, you know, you've got to stay switched on. Um, with some good players. You know, the, the lads' finish for the for the goal was was, was excellent. Um, Tutty just didn't quite get his body shape right, and the lad got across him and scores, and that's what you're coming up against. So we we know we've got to be at our best, and that's what we're focusing to, to try and do. Absolutely, but like you say, it was very promising. Ollie and Jake being able to link up the way they have, and Lewis as well. It was a really good debut for him, uh, I thought, overall. Um, and potentially a new debutant as well next weekend, or uh, well, this coming weekend, with uh, Dan Bowery coming in. Um, can you explain that signing and what he's about? No, yeah, Dan, um, obviously a ball playing sort of centre back, um, experience of playing at the National League, which I think you know is vital to to us to get those players that have got that bit of experience but still of a, of a young age as well so still got aspirations in the game and wants to kick on and we like to work with those kind of players um, so yeah he's, he's just tweaked his groin in his first session with us um, and taken a while to sort of get over that but he's back in training now take him a little while to get up to speed but um, yeah we're hoping to, to see him you know, next week um, in the, in the three games that we've got Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. I'm sure we're featuring in you know at least one of those, and um, yeah, it's about us getting him up to speed and, and ready to go. Obviously, yeah, it's a busy schedule. Um, and talking of injury news as well, obviously, 
Jake Robinson, it ended a bit sour for him in the end, picked up that knock, had to come off. Is there any update with him and how he's getting on? Um, he's just literally half five this evening, he's gone for a scan, so he w won't know until tomorrow the, the extent of the damage, but um, yeah, obviously it became very doubtful for the Saturday and Tuesday, but you know, won't jump to any sort of assumptions or anything at this sort of stage. We'll, we'll get the scan back, look at the results and, and deal with whatever the uh, the injury might be. Um, but yeah, he showed some promising signs. Um, the fact that he tried to carry on, I think, it, you know, it was, it was a good sign. But um, yeah, like I say, we can't worry about and do anything about it until we get the, the scan results back and like I say, hopefully get them tomorrow so we know a lot more and know where we are. Um, but yes, yeah, it's, it's a blow to have Jake missing any, any minutes of football. Um, get off to such a great start, he's a, he's a goal scorer um, and he's fitted in really well to, to how we play. Absolutely, and yeah, here's hoping he's he's back and playing with us again soon. But plenty of striking options we still have: Keeley, Pierce, you know, and those boys did phenomenally last season. Um, I'm assuming they're sort of going to be involved over the next over the week week or so. Yeah, I assume um, expecting um, everyone to sort of be involved and get minutes really. Um, now we're still, even though the league started a bit early um, than the normal, um, so you know we still got lads that are cramping up, we've still got lads that are not going to be able to do Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday um, and we've got that this week so I expect the whole squad and is going to be needed and that's without any, any knocks um, and we've got one or two that are not quite up to, to match pace and match speed yet, there's Danny Barker that's only sort of got through 30 minutes or so so he needs to build himself up a bit and get some minutes and get his match sharpness back um, which is going to take a bit of, bit of time to do that. Um, so yeah, we've still got one or two that need to get up to speed, but like I say, I think the whole of the squad's going to be needed over this next week. Looking ahead to Saturday in particular, is there any particular absentees, obviously Jake aside, is there anyone in particular that might be missing or might be in doubt going ahead to that? No, I don't think so. Um, obviously Luke Robson's got a slight tweak on his ankle. Um, Jake Robson going for a scan, so them two could be doubts but Aaron Racine will be back. I don't know if Dan Bowery will be quite ready for minutes on Saturday. Um, Danny Barker is probably only going to be available for 45 or so at this stage. Um, so yeah other than that hoping to have a, a clean bill of health. Um, you know so it's an opportunity for your, for your Mo Jammers, your Cal Keelys to, to get on the pitch and show what they can do and I'm um, excited to see to see that. Sure. Um... Speaking of midfielders, actually, and someone who has been in and around discussion a little bit, Jesse Starkey, is there any update on him and how many minutes he might be sort of getting involved in or how he's feeling about playing? Um, yeah, he's, he's away at the moment. He came in and trained with us on a Thursday session two weeks ago. Then he was away with work and then he's had two weeks away in Greece. Um, but we're hoping when he gets back from that, he'll be fully integrated back into and try and build his way back into getting getting minutes on the pitch and, and minutes in training. Um, from when he does come back, I think it's going to take a good four to six weeks, almost needs to have a pre-season, um, but we're hoping that'll be before the end of August, um, hopefully whole of September, get himself fit and up to speed and hopefully see him sort of to run towards the end of September, start of October, um, a bit like a new signing to have back for us. Um, so yeah, it's one that, you know, in an ideal world, we would like Jesse Starkey to start every game and be available for every game, but um, totally respect the decision he's made. Um, you know, these lads are at a stage in their life where you know other things become more important, and you've got to look at the bigger outlook in life. And you know, starting a family, starting a um, I'm not saying just starting a family, but you know, he wants to get into age where you know. Lads are starting to get married and engaged and moving out and all that sort of comes into play now. So, you know, the, the bigger picture in life and, and, and family and everything, um, you know, comes into a lot of these players' um, minds and, and thoughts now. So, totally respect, you know, he wants to try and earn as much money as he can to try and move out. Um, and, you know, I've got nothing but respect for him to wanting to do that. But at the same time, you know, I think be a, a shame for someone like myself that to retire at 26 to, to see someone with Jesse's ability not out there on the pitch on a Saturday um, is a shame to see and I'm hoping that we see him out there sooner rather than later. 
So yeah, here's hoping. Um, and looking ahead to Saturday in particular, Welling, uh, the opponents. Obviously, we're in a, all in a new league, so I think it's new to, to everyone, uh, fans included. They drew nil nil at the weekend. Is, is there anything about Welling that you're expecting, and anything you might be able to let people know about? No, I just think like it showed from their first game, wasn't it, that they're you know well organised, tough team to play against. Um, don't give too much away, um, and you know we're going to have to be our best to, to to try and get anything from the game. They will be happy with that. And away from my first game, getting a point, um, you know they'll be keen to back that up with three points at home, and it's a very good start. Um, same as us, we'll be keen to build on our point at home to get three points away from home and it looks like a very good start then. So, you know, both teams I think will be very keen to come away with three points on the day and, you know, all the time it's like that, it bodes for a good fixture, a good encounter. So, yeah, one that both teams will look forward to and, um, yeah, like I say, ourselves will go there with a lot of confidence and, and, and try and implement the things that we've worked on in the week from, from last Saturday's game. Absolutely. Oh, brilliant. Best of luck with Saturday, Adam. And uh, well, he's open for three points. Nice one. Cheers.